Mountain rain. How does it rain? Water cycle or hydrologic cycle. Water on the earth evaporates continuously due to the heat of the sun. Water that has percolated into the soil also evaporates due to the heat and enters the atmosphere. Evaporation, even when a liquid is well below its boiling point, some particles of liquid have enough energy to break the forces of attraction between the particles and escape from the surface of the liquid in the form of vapor. Thus the particles of a liquid are constantly escaping from the liquid to form vapor. Factors affecting evaporation The evaporation of a liquid depends mainly on temperature, wind speed, humidity, surface area. Transpiration is the process in which plants release the water inside it in the form of moisture or water vapor. Parts of plants like stems, small pores on leaves, flowers evaporates the water to the atmosphere. Stomatal transpiration is the loss of water through specialized pores in the leaves. It accounts for around 80 to 90 percent of the total water loss from the plants. Factors affecting transpiration, temperature, humidity, wind speed, number, and distribution of stomata, percent of open stomata, water status of the plant and the structure of canopy of the tree. Percolating waters are those which ooze, seep, or filter through the soil beneath the surface, without a defined channel. Water that has percolated into the soil also evaporates due to the heat and enters the atmosphere. As water vapor is lighter than air, it rises up into the atmosphere. As water vapor goes higher, it cools and condenses forming very fine droplets of water. The droplets are so small and light that they float in the atmosphere forming clouds. These small droplets join together and form bigger drops which are heavy. They cannot float. Such drops of water fall down on the earth in the form of rain. This rainwater flows into rills, streams, rivers, and finally into the sea. Ice in the snow-covered regions also melts due to the heat of the sun and finally flow into rivers. These processes of evaporation, condensation, and rainfall go on in a continuous cycle. This is known as the water cycle in nature. With that today's topic How Does It Rain? is completed. Please like, comment, share and subscribe thanks for watching. We will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye.